Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Hey, thanks for watching. Fun project today. We are actually going to disassemble or take apart a U-joint assembly and bearing set. Let's get started. All right, DIYers at the workstation now. And again, we are going to show you how to disassemble your U-joint assembly that has the shaft, U-joints, crossbars, retainer nut, bearings, gear, and the preload washer and nut. And I removed this from the upper unit recently. We replaced all the internal seals and we are rebuilding basically the upper unit and lower unit and that will be our next project as you can see all the old parts are still on that lower unit minus the prop and as this sat i put it in a ziploc bag closed it up because when you remove this from the upper unit it has a very strong and potent oil smell or gear loose smell and i am doing this inside so to decrease that smell from traveling throughout the house i put it in a ziploc bag let's go ahead and remove it here it is out of the ziploc bag and as we talked about in previous videos bad shape Bellows gave way, allowed water and moisture in, and it began to rust. And back here, you'll notice I've got a 15 16 socket, and that is for the preload nut. We need to remove this and begin pulling the parts off the actual shaft to get the retainer nut. And you may be able to hold the assembly with one hand and remove the preload nut with the other. However, if you can't, you might need to vise it up or use an impact drill with the socket. At this point, I've got the entire assembly in the vise and I use paper towel, believe it or not, just to add a little additional grip. Metal on metal tends to slide. And again, this preload nut and washer have to come off and we have to lock this assembly because as you turn this gear, the entire U-joint assembly turns with it. 15 16 nut and I just used a breaker bar here and carefully, with the added leverage, loosened up the nut. From here, I will switch back to the smaller ratchet. And as I do this, I gotta be careful because all these parts will fall off after removing this nut and washer. So I may actually take it out of the vise and reposition it on the table. I will loosen it, however, with the smaller ratchet. But again, I don't wanna remove the nut completely with it in the vise, unless I'm holding it with the other hand. And from here, I can reposition it on the table and do the rest. Next, I've got this little pick tool here. And I'm going to just carefully shift the washer off without scratching or damaging anything. But in my case, it doesn't matter because I'm replacing everything with new stuff. And you will notice one side says nut and the other side does not say anything. When you reinsert your brand new washer, because these old washers cannot be used again, these are already compressed with the preload and used. And in the event that you try to use this old washer to set a new preload, you are setting yourself up for disaster. Replace the washer. Most people replace the nut, but in the manual, we don't see anywhere it says that you have to replace the nut, but we are going to replace the nut. It was only about $3, maybe $4. From here, just carefully pull the assembly apart. And it comes out in a bunch of different pieces. So I highly recommend taking a few photos before you pull this entire assembly apart. Because in the event that you are just replacing the oil seal and rubber o-ring and nothing else, you want to stay organized through the project. So I've got my spacer and shim set over there. I'm going to pull the bearing and gear portion off. And this has the inner and outer race as well as the inner spacer. I'm going to set that upside down and it will leak some oil, that's normal. Next is the oil seal and rubber O-ring. And this little sleeve here houses the internal oil seal. Yeah, kind of beat up. So again, we are replacing that. Prop that up against the gear. Pull off the additional race, set that, and reconnect it to the oil seal race, and I'll pull the retainer nut off. Very dirty. We are going to clean it up, and we are going to reuse just this retainer nut. And something I want to show you, again, be very careful so I know exactly how this goes back together. You will notice I can remove the bearings from the actual gear here. See that? and vice versa. I can press them on by hand. However, with the new gear, I'll show you that here shortly, I'm gonna clean my gloves up. I actually had to get it factory pressed by my local marina. And here is the brand new gear bearing assembly. And again, with the brand new gear and brand new bearings, 
This actually had to be pressed to factory specifications, and my local marina was so kind and they charged me 30 bucks to do that, as well as the vertical gear you'll see when we put everything back together. So DIYers, that is it. That is how you carefully and properly disassemble a U-joint drive shaft assembly with the gear and bearings. Stay organized. Do your best not to mix any of the parts up. And in your case, you may just be replacing that oil seal. If that's the case, you just punch it out. And there it is right inside there. And put everything back together, set the preload. However, in our case, again, we've got a brand new U-joint and shaft assembly and all new parts. We are now going to build it. And DIYers, please join us at the link scrolling above. It will pick up right where we left off. And we are, again, going to reassemble the entire group of parts. And I've got my schematic and drawing as shown here. And you want to make sure you put everything back the exact correct way. DIYers from here, do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon, click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, definitely ring your YouTube bell, that would be very helpful to us, we would really appreciate it, thanks again for watching, and again, please join us at the next video, we'll pick up right where we left off, and let's continue our fun project of rebuilding the unit.